You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace June's Path. So y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys haven't heard, I am now an affiliate of Green Man Gaming. So what that means is just click, uh, click on the description in the uh, click. Uh, sorry, click on the link in the description down below the video. And uh, you'll be taken to the uh, landing page of Green Man Gaming. Just buy whatever you want on the site. You'll get awesome discounts, and I'll get commission for whatever you guys buy. So it works out for everybody. Anyway, y'all, let's jump right back in, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy, and here we go. All right. <clears throat> yes, we just bought candy for a sweet boy. All right, you two. Maybe don't do that inside a store in front of the main street. People are looking at you through the window. Look out and see that. In fact, many people are passing by and staring at us as they do so. I quickly jump away from June, nearly knocking him down when I do so. Uh, sorry, here's your sweets. He doesn't even look me in the eyes when he takes the bag from my hands. Yakasan giggles. Damn it, my face feels so hot right now. Once we finish shopping around, we exit the store back out to the busy main street. We barely even left it on, left it, and June already starts to freak out. Can we go someplace else now? I don't like being out in the street. You know, you're gonna have to get used to this sooner or later. The school trip is about four months away, sure, but we've never gone anywhere that wasn't at least twice the size of a si uh, twice the size of Saitama. At the mission of the school trip, June whines pitifully, making me roll my eyes in frustration. Ah, oh, that's true. We have the school trip in July, huh? I need to talk to my father about it. Has the school already revealed your class or where your class is going to? Yeah, they did yesterday. It's Paris. Tuji whistles in admiration. Maybe they'll take the third year somewhere interesting th interesting this year too. Last year we went to we went to the Chiba Prefecture. Didn't we go to Hong Kong when we were freshmen? Oh yeah, Sai got food poisoning from some questionable dumplings and spent the rest of the trip in bed. All right, don't eat any foods that haven't been prepared by a reputable restaurant. I'll keep that in mind. I think it's less to do with the restaurant's reputation and more to do with us. Japanese people have pretty fragile stomachs. It doesn't take much to get us sick. Over eighty percent of Japan's population is lactose intolerant. You can't really expect much from our stomachs. What am I supposed to do then? Not eat? Stick to the food the hotel staff prepares, I'd say. What is, what is even the point of visiting a foreign country, then? The point is actually going around instead of staying stuck to your bed with indigestion. Okay, you win this time. Uh, um... I feel someone grabbing hold of my arm. I look back, I see June at the edge of a breakdown, clinging desperately to me. Oh no, not this again. He starts squeezing my arm again. I can feel the blood flow being cut off. Okay, let's move it, people. I don't want to lose my arm. Switchy pulls out his phone. It's still a bit early, so I asked us to come to the diner for lunch so she could join us after she sh after her shift ends. But it's still way too early for lunch. Where should we go? There's a library nearby. How about we go there? Really? A library? On our day off? We should go someplace where we can relax. How about we go to a tea parlor? There's a good one a couple streets away. Ew, no. I don't even like tea. You don't have to drink the tea. You can just have some snacks. Lunch is in less than two hours. We should be stuffing ourselves with food. We can show up a bit later. They serve lunch until 2 p.m. anyway. There'd be no point in going too early because we'd have to wait around anyway. Uh, uh anywhere's fine. He squeezes harder. Crap, my arm's tingling. Ow, 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 ow. Just pick some place already. I don't care where. Why don't we have Yuichi-san choose then? It'd be easier than arguing about it. That sounds like a good idea. That sounds like a good idea. What do you think? Which place did he not want to go anywhere is fine? Oh, we're going to the tea shop. Oh, and man, not here. Sounds fine. What do you think? He's well, arguing about it. Let's go see. We're going to show up at 2 p.m. There's no point in going because we have to wait. Okay. Stuffing ourselves with food. Okay, we'll go to the tea shop. Look, I'm not a huge fan of tea either, but the idea of going to the library on my day off is just... No! Oh, come on. They have fantasy there, too. Yeah, but we're, we're going out as friends. What would be the point of doing that if we're just going to go into a corner and read by ourselves? Aww. Yes, I knew you'd understand. Yeah, yeah, great. Can we please go already? I can barely feel my arm anymore. Oh, sure. Good guys, follow my lead. That means you stay put, Urujihara. Har har, very funny. Just lead the way already. Chuichi leads us to a small secluded shop that is a little distant from the main street. The place is mostly empty, not that I can imagine a tea shop being packed. But the inside looks looks as far removed from, from a Japanese tea shop as I can imagine. As soon as we walk in, we are greeted by a small wolf boy who doesn't look much, to be much older than us. Welcome! Can I get you anything? He flashes us a toothy smile and hands us a small flyer with their entire menu. Wow, it's really compact. 
Ah, Radican, it's nice to see you again. Been a while since you last came by. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I've been getting that a lot recently. Busy with schoolwork? You always seem to disappear a couple times a year when things start getting hectic. Yeah, I guess you can say that. Plus, senior year and all that. The pressure to get into a good college just eats up even more of my free time. Uh, Shuichi, introduce us. Oh, right. Everyone, this is Tadanori Senpai. He's one of my senior. He's one of the one of my seniors in the, on the volleyball club back when I was a freshman. Tadanori Senpai, this is everyone. You call that an introduction? I'd have gotten more useful information out of a name tag. Well, we don't use name tags here. It's just a small tea shop, after all. And you are? Keisuke Rushihara. Nice to meet you. Ah, from the Rushihara Corporation, right? Uh, didn't know that Erotikun was friends with such a big shot. A big shot? That's not... I'm Yuichi Michimaya. It's a pleasure to meet one of Soichi's former teammates. A little smile widens, flashing us some teeth. Ah, so you're the famous Yuichi I heard so much about when I was in the club with Erotikun here. Uh... Tadanori senpai not now. Will flashes a devious look as he turns away from Shuichi. Erotikun here used to talk about you a lot. I think I heard your name more often than any of my teammates that year. Tadanori senpai Haha. <laughs> Don't be so uptight, Erotikun. You should enjoy your youth while you still have it. You should be more believable if you weren't. You, you would be more believable if you weren't laughing right now. Why don't you guys have a seat and call me over when you're ready to order? Shuichi immediately Shuichi immediately begins pushing us towards some of the uh, some some faraway seats. His attempt at getting us away from Tadanori, from Tadanori sign is praiseworthy, but also incredibly obvious. Well, that was something. Haken speaks as uh, speaks up once we're finally seated. Say, Shuichi, did you really talk about me? Shut up! Shuichi buries his red face in his arms. You keep saying that, and it's going to turn you into your catchphrase. Shuichi shoots him a dirty look, but Haken cuts him off before he gets to say anything. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Got it. Uh, hmm. Hey, Jun, what are you thinking so hard about? Huh? Oh, I was trying to decide what I can order from the menu. At least it's not crazy expensive in here. I could pay for it if you want. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't want to turn into a mooch. Unlike some people. Hey, I'm not a mooch. Funny you'd say, funny you'd said that, considering I never mentioned any names. Well, I guess if the shoe fits. Don't go around thinking oh, you're oh so slick. I know, you were, I know who you were talking about. Hey, if the shoe fits. That was a weird noise. Whistling... I'll stuff the shoe down your throat! Boy, that escalated quickly. Sometimes I wonder how you two managed to be friends. Who says we're friends? Who says we're friends? Uh, that does. They both look at each other in the eye and then look away in disgust. Getting some real creepy twins vibes from you two. Chuichi groans. Seriously though, you two are oddly in sync today. Well, we can't disagree about everything all the time. That's the exact opposite of what you said earlier. Well, life's filled with contradictions. Could you please try making sense? Anyway, what are you guys thinking of ordering? I'm gonna go with... Let me guess. Green tea. Bingo! Kaken examines his flyer with the undivided attention you'd see from someone reading a very good book. Um, Kaken, that's a very intense look you have on your face right now. Oh, I'm sorry, it's just... Just? I hate tea! He tosses his menu back on the table, leaning back in his seat with a heavy sigh. I'll just get a coffee. I don't really have anything of note other than a ridiculous amount of types of tea. Uh, yeah, this place is kind of lacking in drinks other than tea. I sort of aim towards people who love tea the most. It's one of the biggest selections in the city. I'm sure we could find something you like if we... I'll have a coffee. Okay, and certainly nothing but coffee. I don't appreciate the mockery. Too bad, I do. This one it looks like they're going to start arguing again. Could you do cut it out? There are people staring at us. The two start looking around and realize that most of the people in the tea shop are staring intently at them. So, sorry! Every single time. Well, of course people would notice. This place is dead quiet. Any sound becomes easy to notice. How did you realize they were staring at us, though? You didn't lift your eyes from your menu. I have good hearing. I heard people whispering about us. Oh, great. We barely just came here and already we're being talked about. You should keep your voice down, then, if you don't want that. Jeez, I've never seen Junkun being, so, being this blunt before. Well, I don't like having attention dra drawn to myself, and you guys are getting everyone to look at us, so I'm feeling a bit displeased. They fall into bewildered silence for a few seconds. I is it just me, or does the fact that he's always always goofy just make this now look even more serious? We all nod in agreement. Hmm, I think I'm going to go with oolong tea. It's not too expensive, and I tend to like it. Hmm, but can I maybe afford something to eat, too? 
I also have to eat. I have to eat lunch later. We all exchange glances uh, between each other and silently sharing our thoughts. Please let us pay for your food. Huh. What? No, I don't want to take advantage. We'll beg if we have to. But no buts. We're paying for it. Before we before you can uh, before you can disagree, I call Tedanori sent over to our table. Hey, you guys ready to order? Yeah, I can have an oolong tea, a green tea, two coffees, and a rice cracker platter for the four of us. Tedanori-san writes our order in a small notepad and then taps it with his pen a few times. Okay, I'll be right back with your order. He walks back to the kitchen, first stopping by the front door to receive some other people who just arrived. There, I ordered. Now we'll have a shared plate of snacks to eat, and it'll be a waste for you to not eat them. But, but, ah, uh, you didn't have to order for me. Oh, don't worry about it, it wasn't any trouble. No, seriously, you shouldn't have. I hate rice crackers. Is there anything you actually like? In this tea shop? I hardly think so. Seriously, rich people? Rich guy who hates tea. It's like a bear who doesn't like honey. Now you're just being speciesist. Not all bears like honey. Do you know any that don't? That's besides the point. If you ask me, that's entirely the point. Gah! You know, for a guy who looks so cute and innocent, you do have a way of cutting into conversation at the exact moment you can, you can cause the most damage. He looks awfully cheeky smiling like that. Well, ignoring his majesty's pickiness... Hey! I was thinking of visiting the park. The cherry trees are supposed to be in bloom today. Ah! June's eyes are nearly sparkling with excitement at hearing those words. It's been years since the last time I saw the cherry trees. Well, I guess at least one of us is excited for it. It's the same thing every year. Seriously, did you come along just to complain? Actually, I was planning on getting new strings from my racket, but that works too. Ugh, remind me again, why do I still invite you to these things? Because you love me. Switchy face palms. You two look like an old married couple. Shut up. Shut it. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, Sai's supposed to get off her shift though at one, and then then she'll have her own lunch. So I think we'll be leaving the diner at about two or so. So if we leave the diner at about two o five, we should get to the park by two thirty. That is assuming the train isn't late, of course. Okay. Uh, what exactly are we supposed to do at the park? Sightseeing. We see those sights every year. I know, but Junkun was living in a different town for the past six years, and it's been a while since he's visited the um, the Omiya Park. I figured he'd enjoy walking around and visiting the stalls. And are the rest of us supposed to die of boredom in the meantime? We'll be walking around the park in a group of five people. If you manage to get bored doing that, you certainly deserve a prize. KSK places his head down on the desk and groans loudly. Again, people whispering... Sorry. Look, it's all well and good that you've planned out this whole outing for Kobayashi's sake, but we aren't. Well, but aren't we all supposed to be enjoying ourselves here? Going out in this ridiculous heat to a park that's far as that's far as hell from my house just to see some cherry trees I see every single day is pushing it. They're not even all that. They're not, they're not even all that they're cooked up to be. It's not really all that fun. That's wrong with the. That's wrong with the cherry tree. No, don't. I'll tell you what's wrong with them. Ah. Shuichi and I both groan loudly. Back when I first moved into my current house, my father decided the best way to make me feel comfortable was to have a bunch of cherry blossoms planted just outside the garden at our house. Wait, you actually had cherry blossoms planted at your house? Yes, now, please. Let me finish. Anyway, eventually when the trees grew big enough to blossom, he decided to invite a bunch of his friends to come appreciate the sight. Those friends of his, of course, had to bring their horrible spoiled kids with them. So, while the adults were outside taking a tour through our cherry blossom garden, I was forced to stay inside with this big, mean bulldog kid who was kept tormenting me for the whole day. And when they were finally gone, my dad told me they'd be repeating this tour for the rest of the week. S so What do you mean, so? Cherry blossoms are the reason I was bullied for a whole week as a kid. What? That's your big reason? Yep, it is. Well, that's ridiculous. Also, yep. Hey, none of you were there. I don't care if, it was, if I wasn't there. What sort of backwards logic did you use to end up blaming the cherry blossoms? What's wrong with you? Well, now you're just being mean. Well, you're dead inside. Uh, should I come back later? Oh, damn, we didn't even notice him coming back. Oh, not at all. Actually, do you have any popcorn? This is hysterical. Shh. Yeah, yeah, shut it. Got it. Just get back to fighting. Well, I wasn't, but, but I... Only then did June finally realize that his little outburst had landed everyone's eyes directly on him. S sorry. Said Inori san sets our bowl of crackers and our beverages on the table and leaves us. Well, that's a way of stopping an argument. Who says I was trying to stop it? I pick one of the crackers and plop it in my mouth, smiling smugly at, Sh smiling smugly at Shuichi. 
But at least one of us is having fun. So much fun. Well, since you enjoyed that, why don't we talk about the stupid things you hate for a second? Go right ahead. I have no such things. Oh yeah? One word. Milk. But it tastes weird. No, it doesn't. It tastes like milk. I'd understand if you were allergic, but you're not. You hate milk? Hey, don't laugh at me, Mr. I hate cherry trees. KSK opens his mouth to say something, but no words come out from, come out from it. He ends up leaning back in his seat again and looking away. Okay, this is how you want to play, huh? Well, Shuichi hates rock music. <laughs> Why? What? Dude, you hate rock music. It's just noise. Guys, guys, Tedanori-san shows up once again, a perplexed look on his face. Would you please keep it down? The other patrons are complaining about you. S sorry. 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 After giving us the warning, he walks away, leaving all of us looking awkwardly to the side to the disapproving faces of the other patrons. You're right, this is funny. We all start, we all start glaring at him, cons causing him to stop laughing and look down awkwardly. Look, I'm sure we all got a little bit carried away. How about we just pretend nothing ever happened? Okay. Agreed. All right. We sit around in uncomfortable silence, looking down at the table without touching our food. I once caught Irata dancing in student council room when he thought no one was around. No! We all turn to stare at Shuichi. You want to play with fire? I can play with fire. Arusha Heron. Please, let's not do this again. But he started it. I don't care. Behave. Fine. Seriously, though? Dancing? I was just bored. What sort of dance was it? No ca- Tango. Wow. Why? All right, you behave too. It's not bad enough that I have the chaperone one, uh, one man child. I don't need a second one on my back. Are you calling me a man child? What? No. Not explicitly. What? You suck. Thank you. That wasn't a compliment. Too bad. I took it as one. Just shut up and eat. All right. I grab a handful of rice crackers and cram them all into my mouth. Right this? I sound like I'm speaking complete gibberish because of all the food in my mouth. Because of all the food in my mouth. And I'm the man-child? <laughs> perfect, uh, perfect place to pause it. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks for a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!